Well, hello there again. This is round three time CMC Mike here for CMCRC. This time around we have the X8C LiPo battery in here. See it right here. Piece of foam right here because there's, there's enough room for another whole battery there just about. So we gotta keep that battery from flopping around in there. So here we go. Turn this on first. Always turn your radio on first. Then reach up under here for any RC car. Find your power switch. And turn the power on. Give it just a minute to uh, find itself or so. Yeah, we're good. Here we go now. We're running on LiPo power. Oh, wow. I could notice a big difference there already off the bat. Might be better balanced now. Let me check his front end and make sure it's lined up correctly. Yeah, I believe we're good. Well, wait a minute, not really. Put it back the other way. Okay, here we go. The truck is waiting on us. I can tell right off the bat this is going to have lots more power. Maybe with the battery shifted towards the back, it might be better balanced. Might not nose over so much. We're gonna find out here in just a minute. Here we go. I'm sitting down. Aimed at the truck. Here we go. Oh yes. I notice a lot more power. A whole lot more power. Oh yes, that's a lot more power, a lot more power. Those knockheads just ain't nothing compared to a lipo. Truth is, oh, it jumps a whole lot better too. That's a lot better right there, I tell you. I hope this camera's picking up all this Insane action. Oh, yes, it's jumping a lot better now. Jumping a lot better. Oh, that was awesome. That, -hoo 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 -hoo. Now, with the proper batteries, it makes all the difference in the world. This thing just might have something for a stampede. At first, with those other two batteries, I thought, oh my goodness, this thing's nothing compared to a stampede. Stampede to kill this thing. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that now. Now the reason it knows over that time I let off of it. Now I didn't mean to do that that flip over there, that nose flip or whatever. Didn't go to do that. But I must have let off of it or something, did something wrong. You see, I'm a stampede driver. And I need to learn how to drive this thing. See, I don't know what I'm doing. When it comes to ZD racing, I'm a rookie. I'm a ZD racing. A ZD racing rookie greenhorn, wet behind the ears, whatever you want to call me. Now that is a lot, lot better. That is a whole lot better jumping. Try not to run over myself here. That is a lot better right there, I'm telling you. Now I should have probably let off that a little bit more because you keep doing that right there. You notice the front, the wheels were spinning when it hit the ground. That's a good, good way to tear your differentials up and your transmission up. So that's a no-no right there. Good thing I didn't hurt the truck though. This is what you want to do right here. You know, let off of it where it um, evens out, but you don't want it to nose over. You do want to control it in the air and stuff. Now, it, uh, it nose over because I let off of it. Oh, wow, I must have hit some kind of bump or something. I hit something. 
Yeah, this is the hardest I've been on an RC truck in a long time. Good gosh, I'm tearing this thing a new one. I must have hit something over here somewhere. But, wow, whatever I hit. Whatever I hit. Did a number on it. Didn't hurt it though. Ooh, that was a nice little hop right there. You see that? Well, I, you didn't see that. Let me try it again. I'm gonna get over here. Try back down there where I can come up to it. It's right there in front of me. Well, it didn't hit it that time. And when you want it to hit it, it don't hit it. But when you don't want it to hit it and you're not expecting it, it will hit it every time. Always happens like that. Let's get a back view of this. It looks better from the other side. Let's go back over here. But this thing, I guess, it just doesn't like those uh, NICADs and they're just too heavy. It's too much weight up front. But still, I'm still going to uh, work on the suspension system. I think the back end is kicking up too much. Something... Something sounded funny right there, didn't it? Oh! <laughs> Pretty wild. They always say number three is always the charm. This is the third run and the best run so far. I'm gonna bring him over here and check the motor temperature. And something happened to the speed control fan because I don't hear it blowing anymore. And let me let me cut this off right quick. Something happened. A piece of grass or something got stuck in there. Let's uh, take this body off. I hope I didn't burn this motor up. The motor on the speed control. I think there's a piece of pine needle stuck in there, and it's bounding up the motor on the speed control for the cooling fan. We're going to find out right quick. Hopefully I didn't tear this thing up. Yep, a pine needle got stuck down in there. And I'm hoping that this uh, speed control is not destroyed as far as the fan. I'm glad I pulled it in and checked it. Let's, let's find out, make, make this thing... Oh, there, good, there we go. Came back on. Thank goodness, thank goodness. Okay. Let's get the body back on here. This, uh, that's why it's always a good idea to bring it in once in a while and check it. Because if that pine needle would have stayed in there and I kept on driving and kept on driving, it would have uh, burned the motor up in the speed control as far as like the cooling motor sitting on top of it. That wouldn't have been good. Let me get this, these back ones back on here and we will take off again. I never had a chance to check that motor. Let me check that motor right quick before I take off. You hear the, the fan in there. The fan makes a bunch of noise, which is good. You want to bring it by and check the fan and make sure there's nothing bounding up, which was a pine needle stuck in the fan bounding it up. Check his motor. Motor's got just a little bit of heat, not much. The battery pack, it's got just a little bit of heat, not much. But we're going to drive it some more. But we're not going to drive it totally down because I'm not sure if this thing has a... It should have like a cutoff feature in here to cut the lipo off. It gets down to a certain level, but... I didn't mean to do that. I cannot drive a ZD Racing. I need to learn how to drive a ZD Racing because I cannot drive a ZD Racing, guys. But I'm learning the hard way, beating my truck to death. Let's bring it over here and try it over here. Just like... Woo! Just about run over myself there. <laughs> I think this thing here will give the, uh... Now there we go. Something keeps kind of going, kind of making like a, a weird sound in there in the gearbox or something. I don't know.
I think this is in reverse. Wow. Let me double check something here. Something sounds kind of weird. And the fan is still running. But everything seems. Every once in a while, make a funny noise in the gearbox. It sounds like. I'm hoping since you can't really see the gears, you can't see the, the spur gear or the pinion gear. I'm hoping everything's behaving itself in there. If it's not, I guess I'll be the first to find out. Oh, we got a little slap wheelie, a little slap wheelie action. Woo, got running myself again here. Woo, crashed right in front of myself. <laughs> Very good there, CMC Mike. As uh, Yoko Zoom would always make fun of me and call me Bud Man, I don't know. I haven't seen Yoko Zen in a while. I hope he's doing okay. Last I checked, he uh, loves to eat and he loves to play golf. But it's been too cold to play golf, so I don't know what he's been doing. But anyway, here comes the truck again. We're going to get this right. There we go. Now, I did let off of it just a little bit before it touched down, but you couldn't really tell because um, everything was happening real fast with ZD Racing. Here we go. Let me check his motor temperature again. And the speed control motor, the cooling fan on top of speed control is still running, which is good. That's what you want. You don't want it to get bounded up like it did before. We're going to check his motor again. Motors get a little bit warmer, but I'm running this thing pretty hard. And yes, I did check my wheel nuts, and all of them are tight. So everything's good there. We got some company coming up to see what they do. But this thing is still in one piece. It's holding together just fine. But I don't know. It might give a Stampede a good run for its money, though. Well, not with a NICAD, though. With a NICAD, this thing uh, doesn't run too good. But with a LiPo, wow, this thing really flies literally flies let's continue on for a few more minutes and we're going to call it a day because i'm hungry it's time to get some lunch that was a good one there i just need to learn how to drive this thing i can't drive it too good right now because uh zd racing is something totally new to me So I'm used to Traxxas and HPI, but it doesn't hurt to try something new once in a while, you know? Whoo, I almost went over. I used the front end to pull him back over. You see that? <laughs> Make sure it's fan still running on speed control which it is that's good that was a good one there so this is good for short little bunny hops let me show you you get a running start with it it's gonna be bad news because it's gonna nose over but a short little bunny hop like this is really good I think if I work on the suspension system just a little bit, it'll be even better. Oh, just about went over that time. Well, I need a lot of practice with ZD Racing. I've never had my butt whooped so much with a monster truck before. Until today when I got this one. Well, I didn't get this today. I got it a 
few days ago, but but it's kicking my butt today. I was out at Pebble Beach here, but let me check his motor again. Check the motor temperature again here. We are just a little warm, but it's not hot. A little heat's not a problem, but you don't want it scalding. You don't want it to scorch you. I'm not used to reverse. My other one's programmed with not to have no reverse, but there's no way to program this one. Well, there's no way to program it that I know of. I have, I've seen, whoa, seen the owner's manual, looked at front to back. There's no way to set the speed control that I know of to get rid of reverse. So, but I guess it doesn't hurt to have reverse once in a while in case you get in some trouble or something. Woo. That was a pretty good one. Let's check out the drifting. Let's uh, do some drifting over here a little bit. Then we're going to call this because it's lunchtime at Pebble Beach. And CMC Mike is getting hungry. Ran into myself here. <laughs> but it's all good at Pebble Beach here. I just about ate a rock there. Oh, that was a pretty good jump there. Okay, that, my friends, I've been running this thing really, really hard. I just ran right through the mud too. <laughs> nice parking job there, okay. This truck is going to really need a serious bath. I might just take this thing to the car wash and just blast it. No, I'm not going to do that. The proper way to clean this is very... <laughs> yes. This baby is dirty now. Pretty filthy stuff falling out everywhere. Rocks, pebbles, whatever. That's why they call it Pebble Beach because there's pebbles everywhere. Let's cut this truck off. Always remember... Turn the truck off first. Reach under here, find your switch. And there we go. And you turn the radio off last when you park the truck. But when you start the truck, radio first, then the truck. That was something else. Now that third run was the very best run. But I'm going to put the other two runs up on the channel anyway. So that you can see them and uh, so you'll know. Well, let's see. I'm not going to run no nightcaps or no nickel metals because it's going to run like yuckiness. Lipo is the way to go on this one. Now the stock lipo, let me show you the stock lipo that was in here. Like I told you at my sneak peek video, I changed a few things. It's a good thing I did too because let me show you why. The speed control was here. Now look at all down there. Gravel, dirt, rocks. Now can you imagine a rock getting stuck in this fan? A little pine needle pine needle got stuck in it and it stuck it so that's why I moved it up here because the number one it gets can uh, get cooler and get nice air to blow across and stuff the motors a little bit warm now this receiver box was right here like I told you before but with the battery towards the back like a lipo towards the back there's no more weight up front that made it balance itself better in the air like that but I'm just a rookie when it comes to ZD racing. I don't know how to drive them too good, but I'm practicing, I'm learning. Plus, I'm going to do some suspension tweaks and tunes, and maybe I can uh, 
make that back end from kicking up some. Maybe the back end's kicking up on me. But, you know, they all have, well, let's see, it's because of this, because of that. Excuses, excuses. I just need to learn how to drive ZD Racing and I'll be all right. Okay, this has been CMC Mike. And we will catch you on the next video. And we are saying sayonara with a very dirty ZD Racing Thunder ZMT-10 Monster Truck. Sayonara.